Today we're at the airport. And we're at the airport for a special reason on the vlog. This vlog is a long time coming. You guys asked for it. And no, it has nothing to do with airplanes. Oh yes. Take a look at who's pulling in behind me. It's the Motors Vlog. Just so happens to be my favorite motor sergeant, Sergeant Del Mico in the hey, house. Hey, how you doing? Sir, how are you doing? Excellent, excellent. So you guys have been requested now since season one. We have about 68 episodes and we haven't done a motor's vlog yet. Well, we're glad to be here. Today's the day. Today's the day, perfect day. All right, so let's take a look. First of all, what are we riding here? This is a 2017 Harley Davidson Electro Glide Classic, brand new. Brand new, so you guys recently got new motors? Correct, every other year we get uh, new motors. They're uh, on a lease program. All right, so the motors unit, let's get right into it. How do I become a motors unit? Well, when you get off probation, you can uh, apply when we have openings. We have openings probably every, every year, every other year, and uh, we encourage all the officers to come out and apply. Okay. We'll do an interview process. If you get selected through the interview process, uh, You'll come over, we'll give you some nomenclature on the motorcycle, we'll talk to you, explain what it is, and then at that point we'll send you to a school, it's a four-week school, probably one of the toughest schools there is. All right, and do I need a motorcycle's license to be No, you don't. No. We train you completely, we provide everything for you. You do not need a motorcycle endorsement. You don't need to have previous motorcycle experience. Uh, it's good if you do, but it doesn't make any difference when it comes to the interview process or who we select. All right, so when, when you go, so when you go through the school, you end up getting your endorsement. Yeah, anyway. we'll get your endorsement at the end of the school. So four weeks long, you train on that? On that, four weeks. We incorporate nighttime riding. We do a week of nighttime, and we also do shooting. We so, incorporate shooting from the motor. Uh, let me ask you, is there any schools coming up? Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to have one probably in August or September. And maybe we can go. Absolutely, we'd like to have you come out. There it is, motor school, guys. So tell me a little bit about motors. What is your guys' duties? Do you guys just write tickets? No, we do traffic enforcement. Uh, today we're here to escort the president and the vice president of the United States. Uh, we do a lot of dignitary escorts. We do funeral escorts. There's a lot of uh, things that uh, incorporate the motor, the motor unit or a motor officer. We don't just do write tickets or traffic. Let me ask you the question that everyone has. Would you write your mom a ticket? On Mother's Day? Absolutely no. No. Huh. However, maybe my ex mother in law. <laughs> what about ticket quotas? Because I know you guys have that. No, no. That's, that's not, it's a myth. We don't have any ticket quotas. Okay, so it no doesn't matter how many tickets we write. Uh, we don't have warnings per se, but we give a lot of warnings. Our job is to educate the public. I see in the back, if you take a look back there, We got some dark clouds rolling in. So what do you guys do when it rains? We get wet, that's what we do. <laughs> uh, we have raincoats, uh, special raincoats for motorcycle uh, for motorcycle duty. And uh, we'll go ahead and put on the raincoats. But we do ride in the rain. We ride, ride in all weather, hot, cold, doesn't matter, we ride. And uh, unfortunately, rain is part of it. Uh, we call it liquid sunshine. Oh, nice. Do you guys have a take home car besides that? Is that, or do you take home that bike? No, this is, each motor officer has a bike assigned to them. That is their take home vehicle. We have unit cars in case of rain. Obviously we don't patrol in the rain. We do have cars that we can use. What is the advantage of having a motorcycle unit or being on a motor? The biggest advantage is we can get through traffic. When traffic is stalled or bumper to bumper, we can always get through. Um, we're not as visible as police cars, so we see a lot of things that people don't see. Um, when it comes to escorts, I mean, there are agencies that use cars. We only use motorcycles exclusively, especially with the president. And you can see why we can uh, maneuver and do the things that we need to do. So Sarge, we have a little history. Uh, well, you were my sergeant in uh, Model City. Correct. Uh, that's when you first got promoted. That is correct. A while back. 
So I know a little bit about you, but I don't know how long you've been riding motorcycles. I've been riding motorcycles since I was about 10 years old. 10? Which, without giving my age, that's a long time. 10 years old. But uh, most motor, motor officers, believe it or not, do ride motorcycles when they're off. And have you heard of uh, Officer Rob? Little shout out. Yes, I have. You have heard of Officer Rob? Yes, I have. On YouTube? Yes, I have. LAPD. That's it. Hey, Officer Rob, big shout out. If you guys aren't following Officer Rob, make sure you go to his channel and follow him. Cool guy, right? Cool guy. Cool guy. So Officer Rob, uh, Sergeant Del Mico says, what's up? So today is presidential escort. Correct. Today we'll be doing presidential escorts all day. In a little bit. Correct. All right. Come along. I will. We're going to come along with them. Well, not really. I can't come along too much, but maybe no. put up a GoPro. Um, just so you know, we did get cleared by Secret Service. <laughs> Very important. Yes. We let them know what we were doing. We didn't want to be pointing any cameras at the escort as they went by uh, and get confused for anything that we shouldn't be doing. Correct. <laughs> Officer John! Sir, how are you? What's going on? Oh! Mummer! What's up? What's up, Nick? So you, uh... Sargento? So, you guys, if you don't remember from the recruitment video, okay. when you were running radar, yeah. that's the man right there. That's me. There he is. Forrest Jones, City Miami. Boom. Oh, there he is right there. There he is right there. <laughs> A good looking guy right there, man. There he is. Mortimer Simmons. There you go. What's going on? Not much, man. Everything still good? still working. All right. All right, we're underneath. It's about to rain. So, if there's no need to get wet, there's no rush to get wet. You guys are camping out under here. Got some of the county motormen here. Getting ready to go. What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on? Sarge. Ready to go. And since we have one GoPro hooked up on this side, and then one GoPro in the front, you guys aren't gonna get to see who's driving this thing. You're gonna be our cameraman, uh, motorman. You got the GoPros hooked up. All right. Also flies drones. All day. All day.
Alright, so the motors are showing up. So that means they must be getting close. So we're gonna hang out here where they're all gonna line up. And we're doing this from the motorman's perspective, not the actual president's uh where the president's motorcade is going. It's more of what our motormen are doing. Alright, so we're gonna hang out here in the corner. Apparently the motorcade's supposed to come through. Yeah, the, uh, undisclosed location. Right. But um, if you guys chill out with us and Boom. hang tight, you guys will be then the VIP watchers All right, got it. of the presidential motorcade. Sounds good. You got some good stuff? Good stuff. All right, go get those GoPros. Got GoPro number one here. All right. All right. So, in the in the procession, there's different there's different duties, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, what, what was your duty today? Duty today was uh, as we all deploy out from uh, the first point of contact when the president lands, we all take off and uh, basically any threats or any intersections that you know vehicles could come out or pedestrians could come out we immediately shut down along the way all right so what was your assignment today assignment today was was particularly that point of contact to here to where the uh, president is now and it was all clear all clear we had enough uh, motormen throughout the so, so your your role was like kind of a fail safe right now pretty much in case somebody slipped up and forgot <laughs> to cover an intersection my man was here all right so we're gonna get the gopros and see if you really did that, or did you go to 7-Eleven and get a Slurpee? All right, so you're here now, and now you're just kind of going to hang out until they're ready to go again? That's correct. So, um, so the guys at the intersections? Guys at the intersections, they hold uh, what they got for now on the inner perimeter. Right. Everything else, uh, we let traffic flow. Okay. And uh, until Secret Service give us the word, that's when we you know, go back and shut everything down and get them back to the airport. Oh, okay, so they're not holding it now for the time being? Just, just in the immediate area. That's okay. It. And then once he's once he's ready, they give you the word. Secret Service gives us the word. We all deploy, all motors deploy, shut everything down, and uh, pretty much the same procedure, just the other all way. All the way back. All right, sounds good. And uh, I hear there's a school coming up. It is school coming up. We got a couple. We got I think one or two guys from city, and we might have a few guys from uh, outside agencies. All right, sounds good. And we're gonna go. Oh yeah. We better uh, so make sure you guys are in the house. Yeah, Sarge already said it. We're good to go. Good to go. So, with that being said, I think we pretty much got it. A um, little bit of a short vlog. We're gonna get more into detail. We actually want to go on a ride along. Well, not literally a ride along. I know where to ride, but well, you can always sit behind me. Nah. <laughs> so, so we'll go on a, a ride along with you guys and see how you do work out in the field. Sounds good. But um, for now, we'll end this one. You know how to end it? Come on, Nick. All right, guys. All right. Don't I'm forget fun. to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next Motors vlog. We're out. Out. Adios.